What is going on, everybody? And welcome to the Face It Americas finals. We have Complexity going up against E United, and the winner of that matchup will meet Rogue in the grand finals. It's going to be exciting stuff. Do not go anywhere. Oh, and one more thing, guys. Yes! The only British lad on the server was able to dash the chances of United on map one. A very surprising and I'm sure very frustrating series of lost rounds from United. They had so many opportunities to get back in there, but they were denied. However, they've had a moment to calm themselves, a moment to reset, because up next is Mirage. Dude, I'm just waiting to see this on the replay, man. He deleted a whole map with a ninja defuse. It's, it's pretty impressive. Like, he deleted a whole map. I don't care about any of this stuff that happens. <laughs> All I want to see is that defuse. Absolute craziness. Which is that? Here That's you go. It's, it's, uh, it's coming up. That's also like, everything's fine, everything's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like, lol, man after my own heart. <laughs> Look at Snatter's Slow. like, what did you just do? I, I cannot compute. I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> That's amazing, That's isn't it? That's crazy. That's really cool. Um, but again, you know that that is one horrible round. But there were there were some other others there in there for United uh, spots where they perhaps should have taken over the line. You know, whichever way you know you want to cut it, it was a 16-10 for the likes of Complexity, and they're sitting on Mirage waiting to get started. The knife has begun, and that will dictate who starts on which side. And I think if Complexity <laughs> get that CT side start, they're going to be pretty happy with themselves. Sorry, production, for leaving my laptop in the screen. Yeah, it's fine. But we're need watching, to get rid of it? We're watching, no, it's too late now. Okay. We're watching the England game. That's why it's there. So it we're matches my Look how much it matches my shirt. That is oh, impressive. it does match your shirt, yeah. That is impressive. Yeah, interesting. What Very good, good. coordination. Look at you. United just won the uh, the knife round, as we can see. So we've got game feed, program feed, game feed, game feed. England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Yes. All right, well, it looks like United will be starting on the CT side, so I think it's time to get into the game. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Def, you cheeky boy. You cheeky boy. Can't believe that That's he did crazy. that. That's crazy. Can't believe he's done Bearing this. Bearing in mind, these teams are playing to qualify for the major. And he deleted, he deleted United on the first map. He deleted them. Well, we're into it now. Complexity on that T side. They've got three players going down into the underpass. And Stanislaw will be initiating things here with an HE. I love that. Oh, the double HE. Oh, the first one was good enough to get rid of Relics. You've got to love the detail. You do not see HEs used like that in pistol rounds. Look at the preparation from Complexity. And now they're going to be darting across to B. But there's a man in the way. And he's in between the bomb. If Dapper wins this battle against Def, maybe, oh, maybe Def is... Uh, Dapper you know, really put it back to death after that ninja. But now the question is, how many people do you invest in getting the bomb here? Because you have to secure the site as well. And you see Android's been left to try and do that. I don't know if he's heard these CTs just yet. Going to look at short to see what's going on over there. Lots of pre-fire. Dapper. He's going to let them go for it. I mean, that's a fight he can take. Surely he's not playing the whole team there. But he lets them go for it. Oh, they're getting caught in a short position. And Android might just fix this. Oh, Dapper, I really feel like he should have taken an engagement there. But maybe he was happy to retake with his teammates, and this is still on. The bomb is being planted. He's got to avoid the one versus two. Getting a quick reload in. Trying to create some space with the smoke grenade. Obscure the window somewhat. Inviting Ye to peek him. But yeah, he's got his teammate to cover his back, I think. Ooh, that's a deep smoke indeed. And he could have crept past it. He spots Shazam. Out comes Ye. Straight in the face. That was a great play from Dapper. I actually thought that was super smart with the smoke. And you can see that, you know, he was he was really playing the mind games there. But they had they had the sense to them to not move. That is beautiful. Honestly, they actually had the double HE prepared for that play to get rid of the guy who's pretty much always, very often always going to be on that ticket booth position. And to get rid of that player, like, in that way, it creates a clear path to CT if you want it, if you storm the bomb site and are successful. So I love that. And you, that's uh, the first time I've seen that in a pistol. Stanislaw, he's got the tricks. He's got the tricks up his sleeve. Three smokes down on the A site. Ace making his way over. Dazzle has been frazzled. Ew. 
Yeah, he's peppering. Yeah, he's finishing. 7 HP. What does he choose to do? Most of complexity are here now, and they still have a smoke to deploy, at least one. <laughs> More grenades. Uh, yep. Android going beyond the angle. Four versus one. Moose is alone with the CZ on the other side of the map. You do not, do not want to hunt him in isolation with an AK-47. Android's the only one with an AK. I do like how that position's just been naded. You know, two rounds in a row. I, it'd be so cool if they just find a way to nade it, like half half of the rounds of this half. Just you know, just just make sure that that is just always just naded. Because it is it's that common spot that people obviously you know stand behind. It's hard to deal with. You know, you can throw a molly on top of the box, and you know, but then they can just back away. But the nade is burst damage, so there's nothing they can do about it if they don't see it coming. And if they're hiding there, they're not going to see it coming. So it's uh, from that perspective, it's really cool to see that. And it's something, you know, that Astralis have been uh, messing around a lot with as well, you know, just this, just trying to see, you know, where can they, you know, better use, you know, double nades. And it's and it's good because, you know, if you understand the expectations of how your opponent should be playing or you've done some study on them, you're going to be able to find spots where you'll get a lot of money out of that double HE. <clears throat> so we have United on a pretty weak, but well, obviously they're saving here and... Can't expect too, too much. Complexity, you need to see from them. I have to actually say, you know, on the first map, they had a lot of very, very slow anti-Ecos and anti force spies, and it was actually problematic. A lot of those rounds were very, very close, and they almost ran out of time in, on a few occasions too. So I'm wondering if that will be the same tendency here. I think Inferno is a very, a very dangerous map for that. Um, I don't think Mirage is... Well, it's still dangerous. But I think uh, Inferno can be massively so, especially with the smokes up. The close quarters of shorts on a... Hello. I don't know if you saw more on his radar. One or two more, I think, Sanus Law sees. Maybe even three. So that is plenty of information for complexity. Death has a strong angle. Can even have somebody in CT to engage for him initially. Shazam with the MAC-10, not the uh, ideal choice, but he'll close the distance to a more reasonable affair. Stanislaw in connector, so he can spot mid, and United are not moving too much. And it seems Complexity will be content to hunt with these SMGs, which makes sense. Make the monies, make make the monies. Give me that money, give me that cash. Bullying the players on the B-bomb site. A clean three rounds for complexity. They will look to keep the sheets white. I gotta just say in this moment of pause, big shout outs to Twickenham for having the best event catering I've ever experienced. The yeah. in-house in -house catering here is is incredible. I have to say we are biased, but it is a fact. This is the best. Um, yeah, um, this is the best esports catering. I can't Im I can't see how <laughs> it would be better. Unless you were in an oil-rich country. I know we're just doing stupid things for the sake of it because it's like, yeah, it's yeah. unreal, man. It's the player's outrageous. area, almost every day, has a chef to cook certain things on demand. Yesterday it was lamb kebab. It's crazy, man. It's really good stuff. Yeah. We just munched between maps and it was beautiful. And Twickenham's the one. It is. I hope we have many more events here. Either way, back into the buy versus the buy. We will have a situation where there's a lot of traffic around B apartments, and then when that smoke dissipates, Relics might be a little bit surprised as to what he sees. A complexity is just going to burst through. They, they are positioned, ready to throw the nades. There are the nades. They're timing it with the dissipation of that smoke. That's very smart. Relics now in the place. He goes forwards. They're all blind. Beautiful counterplay with the flashbangs from the CTs, but they still have to deal with the remainder of complexity as they try to burst through the apartments. They've taken so much damage. Surely it's too much. He bought plenty of time for his team, but there's plenty of time for Complexity to read this B bomb site of these players. Dazzle's creeping in. Are they ready for him? It's his turn for a two-man spray down. He will return the favor in kind. E United steal around the way, maybe, from Complexity. That was quite the back and forth, but E United are in trouble despite winning that round because that cost them almost everything 
and complexity are the ones with more money. Ooh. That was, I mean, the way that that, that hurt a lot, like, just it just wiped out the economy of United. Complexity have set themselves up for a slam dunk, but for them, they are hoping that they're not going to face plant. In fairness, they're both all in on this round for, yeah. for the rounds to come. United had more than expected, as you can see by the double AWPs. God, imagine if they'd lost that round after being deleted on the first map by this man, Rory Jackson. I can't, I don't know how you keep it together, but they did, and they will. Relic's repositioning with the AWP, looking for a fast shot. He's got one player in for support, Muse. Both get fragged. Oh, he misses, yay, because of the crouch. And it's a three on three. Dapper is miles away. He's in T-spawn. Ace repositioning on short and Dazzle's in market. He has to hold an angle for a while. This is not looking easy. Wading is Dazzle. And there's the maneuver straight into the crosshairs of Stanislaw. And with that frag, ooh, maybe a chance actually. Ace is finding damage, almost finding the frag. He's creating an argument to go for this for Dapper, who is closing in. And they are definitely tunneling in on that AWP from Short. It's a good Molotov there from Dapper, but they just simply don't have the time for this. However, damage is absolutely on the cards, and Dapper will be able to get a little bit more for his team before the end of the rounds. Four to one, Complexity have crushed the economy of United, but at the very least, they have saved the AK and the AWP. And once again, we ask ourselves, where do you best place these weapons? How do you best use these? And the United will force by around them. All right, then. Ace has much work to do. United can buy some time initially with these smoke grenades. Dazzle in the shadow position. Ace in a forward position in B apartments, and Death may be coming his way soon. Death is lining up. Oh, this is a different one. On the left corner, it would go towards the short position. In that corner, we will see where it goes. Running past the angle, very smart stuff. They know their angles. Now they know where the AWP is as well. Ace manages to get off the high ground, but he's basically using the orb like a shotgun. Moves into the smoke, but he was spotted. And that is pretty much the round. Dazzle in T-spawn once again, and it's another, well, it's a rough start for United here on in, on Mirage. On in Mirage. It is absolutely looking a bit grim. Again, it is really cool to see the level individually from a lot of these players, because <coughs> this, like, we, we've seen so much improvement. I mean, uh, you, you said it accurately, honestly. Like, we have both... <clears throat> being present, commentating North American Counter Strike since like the <laughs> I remember it like the so the first seasons of uh, of the Face It League where we were up till six a.m. where there's just we were we were casting more more DDoS than Counter Strike <laughs> and and so uh, we saw we a bunch of these these players we're seeing play right now we were watching back then. And the improvement in the level in that time has been astronomical, and it's, it's so rewarding to see it now with that as a reference point. To see the great work done here from Complexity taking that B-bomb site. And they are 5 for 1 now, and it's safe territory again for United. They've kept hold of a, an AK-47. A very fast start from Ye. He's going to be carving inroads towards that B-bomb site. And soon, oh, very nice adjustment. Ye is just on a tear. Of course, these are echoing players, but you can just look at the confidence as he just brushes past them into that B side. He's cleared the half of the map by himself. And his teammates can now go in there. No fear at all so far from complexity. What they're offering is quite scary at the moment. What a start for a United. What a start. Complexity now heading towards three rounds, either side of one solitary round for E United. No one with more than five kills. Android and Ye putting in a lot of work for Complexity at the moment.
This is um, this is pretty rough. Let's see, where is their money at the moment? About two thousand dollars per person for the most part. Twenty four hundred coming their way. Yeah, so Ace will have it fifty eight hundred for his AWP. Let's see if he chooses to buy Kevlar or goes naked to buy some grenades. This is still a recoverable half. Oh, absolutely. As bad yeah. as it looks right now, there is a conclusion for this half to be had. And this is not it. Maybe it's heading in that direction, but then perhaps not. Ace will go for the Kevlar and AWP. He's got 400 in the hole. For a smoke grenade, the rest of his team seem well equipped to AKs on the CT side, but all these saves have not really yielded them much. It is a fast play. It's an explosion from Complexity. Big headshot from Android. Dazzle waits above. He only gets one. He needed more. He needed more, simply more. It's not going to be enough, perhaps. There'll be a 3v4 retake. And United, with the money as it is, they may need to consider what their options are immediately. You, they do have retake na grenades for retake here. So they can take their time. They're going to need to get Ace onto a pick pretty quickly. Or perhaps it's going to have to be Moose. Someone's got to get an opening kill fairly quickly to make this possible. And There's that one. might be it. They are locked <laughs> out now. You can see already. Ace is backing up a little bit. Oh, there's only so much they can do. I don't think Moose should have gone for that. But either way, complexity with another round. And just so explosive. The confidence from them at the moment is, is impressive. That is the perfect play to demoralize your opponent. They've been struggling to get a good buy, struggling to have any or much success in a round and just burst in, play the numbers game, take the site immediately and just ruin everything. What can you do? This is this is psychological warfare at this point. You are one to seven down. You just got to buy. You're like, okay, guys, we've got to buy now. We can do this. And you just get absolutely blasted. The Megatron cannons come out. And that's a wrap. All your, all your toys are gone get immediately. It's crazy. Yes, it is phenomenal, isn't it? It's, it's so cool, again, to see that level of confidence coming in from complexity, too. I just I can't really stress it enough. Again, having seen you know what that roster has been through, to see such imperious form coming from them and to see how they're playing off of that confidence and how it strengthens them, that's a new dimension to complexity. I have not seen previously in United they are being as you say you know you used to term like psychological warfare that is absolutely playing into this now especially with how far down they uh, United are at this point and yeah that f that really fast round it does send tremors doesn't it into future rounds you a fan of tremors no <laughs> hello Stannis Lord Protector of the bomb. Move Shazam for support. Cameo roll. Ace in the connector position. He can do something. Dapper moving into the shadow area, but surely he's good for one kill at most. Moving into the palace position now, but Ace is going top mid. I mean, there is time to do this. However, with the T's moving in to... Oh, he's going towards B now. And well, Dapper may... Dapper's on a flank position now, and Android's going towards mid, but Ace is looking towards the underpass in the window, and I don't know what's going on. Dapper was found by Shazam. And maybe it's safe territory again. Rex pushing B apartments, and Ace will go there to save. Save, 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 save. Save, 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 save. Pretty much a United start right now. Yeah, that's it's so it is highly <coughs> demoralizing, as you said. Like, it's like you don't feel like you get a chance to play. Like, half of your team doesn't feel like they get a chance to play around, and that's just... It's, you don't feel like you have opportunities. It's, it does really weigh on you. And having already lost that first map in the fashion that they lost it, they need to stay composed. They need to dial themselves in. And Android, the executioner. No save. There's the it's unleashing the guillotine. And now it's just relics. Look at how often they're getting the bomb down. You can see on the top of your screens how often they've actually won with the bomb going off. Which is, by the way, extra money than winning by elimination, of course. So that is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Nice. Complexity. It's, they're doing this on the T side too. 
and you gotta you gotta imagine they're gonna have a pretty sil uh, silly I, I meant str solid <laughs> I feel like Death absorbed the souls of E United with that defuse maybe yeah he got his Shang Tsung on and now there's just nothing left for E United they've just been sat they have no more moisture in their bodies moisture has been quelled I, I don't know they got they got absorbed he's an Onos Android moving close to connector. What do they have in store here for United? Is there a pop flash for Android to burst? He's got to be worried about the lack of smoke in window now as well. Oh, Ace caught in the back by Ye. That's big. Ace needed that frag, and that might be the sign of that composure whittling away now under the strain. Dapper with a good response for United. Four versus four now with a minute on the clock, and Complexity's push is coming to a head into the A bomb site. All through connector they go. Dapper, what can he do? United just seem to be at the mercy of their opponent every step of the way here on Mirage. Moose falling back into CT spawn. Dapper and Relics will retreat. They are retreating. They are in a constant. They're they're, they're basically yeah. in a constant state of retreat. It's true. <laughs> I like how that. I saw the realization for you. It's, it's like wait, this is just. The states, the constant states. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. It doesn't even get one there. This has got. They, they have got to be demoralized. And they, they, they do seem broken at this point. And you know, you never want to call it ever, but right now, there's. They're not even. <laughs> gonna Death Diffuse gave them that Jamba Juice, man. Look how happy they are. And they're all just so confident. It's brilliant to watch. This is a tough one for United, isn't it? Can they find a way back in? They just need one good round. That's all they need to just get back into this one. And the no, money is no, they don't. They need like five good rounds. Well, you know, just to, like get the spirits going. Get just get get their heads back yeah. into the what game. What if that's, they that's get like one good round and lose yeah. again? I d then what? Well, d you're gonna need a pack of tissues after that. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's you know work that one out. Pack when of we get tissues there. and a bowl of oranges. <laughs> Just need something to peel to to lament the situation. Just peel the is orange. That, is that a strategy? Is that a, no? Oh my god! Look at this. No, dazzle. You're gonna turn around, mate. FYI, the it's a blind spot. The the top corner to the right of where Ye is, not where he's standing, but to the to the right, just around that corner is a blind spot. So if ever you're on eco and they plant the bomb on A, stand up there, let them run past you, and then jump off and knife him in the back. Ooh. Hello. <coughs> I just, I just had this feeling that Ye was just going to spin around and headshot him there. You know, just the way this game's been going. Three players in the B bomb site. That's two rifles now for E United. Will it be an eco round where they manage to survive? Maybe complexity will play too slow. Yeah, I think that's absolutely the case. This would be the round for E United to win if they can win, but win with three, four people alive. It gives basic, it basically gives them an extra buy. That's all spotted some information, but the jump. Somewhat unnecessary there. He he gives a sound QA. And uh, maybe that's some information for complexity. They start to speed up now. You see there's a CT in the palace position and four of the five players, three of the four players over towards the A site now. Dapper and Moose in the CT spawn position. That's Ooh. the bomb on the floor with 15 seconds left. Dapper and Ace with some frags. And again, if they can collect some weapons here, that would be huge. Shazam doesn't want to give them an AWP. He's running around the site, maybe just trying to hide at this point. But Stanislaw should be trying to cut these players down because he can afford it. So that is the, the wrong way around. I don't know why Stanislaw is only just standing there and leaving Shazam to die on the site and give them an AWP of free. They, he, they should be made to buy that. He should be trying to shoot them, trying to hunt Stan, trying to hunt Shazam because they have so much money complexity. That's my opinion anyway. I do, I do wonder um, why Death was also in that position with the, the bomb. Obviously... His teammate, well, his teammates are very far behind him. I guess there was a gap in the smoke there. He wanted to go for the frag and exploit it. Felt like he had the advantage, but I feel like there is a susceptibility there to complexity at the moment, where they're on an anti-eco or anti-force buy, they lose a player, and then yeah, they almost become more vulnerable than other teams might. But here we are. And yeah, he is that guy also that is going to go ham for you. He's going to just be fearless, and he went down first. Well, it's a boost into window, 
And they've lost one man early again. E United, this their, their chance to get back in this. And they are taking it seriously. They will deflect the attempts to move into the window. Oh, it's another attempt coming in. Oh, it's successful this time. Android has one for Dazzle. And Stannis Law takes down Ace. That is connector open. That is the Ace side. Only held onto by Dapper. And what is the call here for complexity? It's a 1v3, or I should say Stannis Law, as he's the last man standing. He's going to move into the Ace site. The mastermind behind the team. Or at B least site. Team game leader, at least. And he's, oh, he's very dead. Good stuff from Relics and A United. They're converting on their advantages. And they may be back into this one soon, James. There is opportunity. Yeah, there are six rounds to retrieve. And now this momentum can let them forget about the failures. They know what they're capable of. They've played these teams multiple times. They almost qualified for ECS land. They know how good they are as a team. And they are better than this score might suggest. They could do a lot with six rounds on the board. Ace is so close to Palace that he should hear all these players rushing towards him. But can they get into position in time? Dazzle's coming into the jungle area. Gets the first frag onto death. Ace on the low ground, but Stanislaw's too fast with the AK. Dazzle picks one off one, and he's rotating towards CT. That might slow things down because complexity will wonder if anybody makes their way towards the stairs. Moose, in the meantime, is running through T spawn, but the bomb's about to go down. 3v3, this flank. Are they going to turn around in time? Do they have the suspicion? Ooh, the, oh, this is beautiful from Moose. His movement was perfect. And now the threat of the flank is very problematic. United will attempt to crunch onto the defense. Shazam can't get the shot. Moose will annihilate everyone systematically, one after the next, one after the other. And that is fantastic. Moose coming alive. Beautiful flank work. Four rounds now for United. They are fighting tooth and nail. Looks like United got their shoulder up before the three count. Four rounds on the board now. Two more to get. And the money starts to run low for complexity. They start to miss a grenade here and there. They start to have uh, a rifle missing onto death. Mr. Delita. Now on the UMP, sir. Yeah, and Shazam will take the bomb into the palace position. Complexity showing some presence towards the B-bomb site, but that's what's been spotted. There is nobody in mid to stop him escaping. And he gets away for free. Definitely now making his way towards A. So that might actually help Complexity that uh, United saw players towards the B-bomb site. Yeah, it does create a lot of options or potential for misdirection. There is the smoke into a levy bomb site. And you can see that will absolutely cause rotation out of the balcony. Dapper's suspicious though, and he won't be able to get any shots off or connect any shots, but oh, the follow-up is fantastic. Started off slow, but ended explosively. And with great success, E United looking broken, but they have climbed out of the pits. And once again, they are out on the streets at night claiming justice. Android, it's a rough position. You can't even ask him to go hunting to do damage because his team have got no money. Where your money at? Where your money, bro? <laughs> it is all but gone. United moving into the last round. Are in fairly, they're in fairly good nick. They've got minimal wear. Whereas Complexity looking more battle scarred at the moment. Yeah, it's looking really fantastic for United now in the end of this half. And again, you know, it's, it's it was all about that one good round. You know, it gave them, uh, you know, as you mentioned, it, you know, that one good round that ended up being a round with pistols, a failed anti-force buy or anti-eco even from complexity and again they have struggled on those on the first map repeatedly although they were able to, to claim them a lot of them were very very close and desperate and here we see united going from strength to strength now they've got the full force of the double orbs the full force of the utility and, and an ak or two behind them complexity on the other hand on for the last round they do not have a lot to offer they're going to go for a quick b play 
Relix is there with the AWP. He's been quite good so far this tournament. But he will be taken out of play straight away. That is a huge win for Complexity Moose. Ooh, they line up for him. That is massive. Who's going to plant the bomb now? Moose goes wide and he takes Ye down as well. So it's an law. <laughs> what? Okay, Moose. Moose is angry. Wow. I ask you again, what is the opposite of roadkill? Wow, that was a quite the finish. Pulls out the deagle, just one straight in the face as he tries to leave the apartments. Denied, absolutely. Six rounds. That is so impressive. E United have turned up again. This this defense from Moose, this, how, this cannot be more perfect. They line up for him. He gets every spray, and that just nails him straight back to the wall. Sit down. Amazing. Pistol time. Okay, in the same predicament as before, the 9-6 scoreline. Huge opportunity for complexity. A reminder, the winner of this series makes it to the major, and complexity are up 1-0. And they were up 9-1 to one as well. This is quite the comeback from the United. Shazam, notorious for his pistols. He wants that 12-6. The bomb rotating away from the B bomb site, which is currently empty. Shazam, those making his... No, he's not. Or is he? He's near jungle. This is an unusual yeah. setup for a team who are five versus three. It's pretty cool, though. It's it's interesting because normally you don't want to play retake on the B side because it's hard to retake, but they do have the numbers advantage. So if they just try to wait here and keep the... Oh, that's a great pop. Okay, now they can start to close the distance. I like how they're handling this. <laughs> what? Relics, please. Does he have any more... Dirt to deliver. It's Moose again. One versus two. Closing the distance of a Glock. Had the one versus one. Was patient with the crosshair. But Ye was fast. Double figures for complexity. Are we going to see that 12-6 scoreline? They did plant the bomb. So they have choices to make now. Do we force? Do we eco? Decisions, decisions. And it's going to be the UMPs, the complexity, and United still pondering. Ponderous. But no, will be just a full, full save. No utility. It's been cool, actually, some of the rounds where they've decided just to buy just a couple of this or a couple of that for very specific purposes. And I like that complexity are trying to play up middle. And, oh, all the running. Hashtag and then, and then running breaking. all the way back as well. And then they're going to run back again. That... That is so interesting. There's a Molotov. That might slow them down just a, just a hair, but not too, too much. And they will smoke it off. Complexity have good positions, though. They can quickly adapt it. Now they come. Stanislaw is on his own, which means they might get a bonus bomb on if they can take him out. They take him out. Yay. Has some angles. And can they get into an angle to even plant the bomb? Relics just needs a second or two, but he will be denied. Red card for him. No bonus plant. That might have even... Well, who knows what that might have been. Maybe even an NAWP. But it won't be. 11 to 6. The AKs are out for E United. They must strike now. Shazam on the AWP. Ooh. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. That's a, that's a start and a half, isn't it? It's It puts United in a pretty tough predicament because it means that they sort of straight away need to not think about harassment or baiting at utility, but they need to get position on a site. They need to try to get cl as close as possible to a bomb plant situation. And they have that. They have this double prone attack, but Complexity have pushed the apps all the way. Complexity know exactly what's happening. It's just a case of shutting it down. High flashbang, Android avoids. They can't avoid the gunfire from Dazzle. Yay, taking a lot of damage. Do they know he's there, or is it inquisitive harassment? He will allow the bomb to go down. They've got a player moving into Palace, a player CT, and a player coming through Connector as well. And there's four versus three retake. Yay, activates, but Relic spots him. Relic's playing dodgy angles. And now... Whose hand is to play next? Dapper takes death out just as the flashbang goes down. Shazam takes relics out, asks questions with a smoke on the bomb. He might have a really nice angle to take this bomb 
defuse without being shot, actually. And he will do exactly that. Another horror defuse for E United. And there is a 12 to 6 scoreline. Very nice stuff there from Complexity. I liked all the uh, I liked the fight of this over the site for both teams. We saw a lot of you know good positioning. We saw a lot of flashing for one another, and a lot of patience. And uh, yay, I just uh, just living and dying by his position. He got wall banged down to 10 HP. Still didn't move a muscle. Nerves of steel. United rushing middle. They've got a good amount of equipment here. Just one on the C said. Death has to smoke himself out here. He's in trouble. There's no Ray Cheese though, so he will not be finished off by grenades. He will eventually jump across the angle. And things will slow down somewhat. And it's it's very good for United that they didn't lose anyone there. And they were able to get rid of quite a few grenades. And they're coming back for a presumably a set piece onto the A site. And complexity they don't have any vision on middle. So right now, for complexity, it's very hard to know what's going on. And they are—they have a retake positioning for the A site. So complexity have all their bases covered in that sense. But United should get a bomb plant here. Shazam is inside the apartment, so he won't be going to short anytime soon. And that means that these, so Stanislaw, so these three CTs are going to be alone for a while, forced to play retake, but it's a slow advance from E-United, only now moving out of the choke points on the ramp. As you can see, there is a uh, gap in the corner of the smoke. Will there be time to get the bomb down? Because they're so slow that all the smoke is going to go. They may have to force the angle. That's the problem, you see. But the numbers are there for the frags. All the frags flying in now on Shazam and Stanislaw. Shazam's moving back into the B bomb site. But Stanislaw continues to move forward. Moose may have spotted him. There we go. And that's going to be that. Much needed round for United. It's quite amusing because United hit every single sort of one tap, sort of first bullet uh, like, uh, shot as the CTs appeared quickly. Like right at the beginning, so they couldn't even sort of have an attempt to use the CT utility to formulate an attack plan. It's not so common you see just such savagery from the T's there. Very nice from them. And being able to win rounds, I mean, of course you don't want to win rounds with brute force as the singular answer as to how you want to win rounds on a T side, but it's very nice. It feels good to be able to do so, and especially considering how Complexity have had some very dominant and confident individual displays themselves, it can only can only serve to really boost United, who have been in hard times and are still behind. They must be successful here, though. The AWP and CZs. Stanislaw with a quick push into the underpass. Oh, with a flash over the top there for Stan. They will back away. And look at how far he's pushed them back here. He has really done his job already. They've eliminated the position of Palm B apartments, which you can see now on the mini map. The rotation does come in from death. And they can gamble rotate everybody, which is what they're doing. And this is quite cool. E United, what is their play? Do they read this? Do they try to retake the B apartments? It's very dangerous, and you would have to use Molotovs perhaps to clear some of the closer spaces to not get smashed by CZ. So they may very well double back in towards A, where they have two players still. But the lack of map control for United at the moment is a very big problem. And you can see they edge towards a retake of the B apartments. And I think this is, of course, a smart play, considering how much information they lack. They've read the play correctly. Very well done by E United. Oh, but look at Moose and Stanislaw. Stanislaw can hear. Does he take the angle? I think he made a step. And now Moose is going back with 40 seconds. This is all over the place. But he's left the bomb in spawn. Why has he dropped the bomb? Why has he dropped the bomb? Look at the time. He's left it for Dapper to, Dapper to pick up. And he's been picked off by Stanislaw, who now has the weapon. Why on earth has he dropped the bomb? Look at that time on the clock. What are they doing, United? Dazzle moving into the jungle position where Shazam is on the A site. Dazzle will win that frag, but Ye and Def can stop this bomb from getting planted. And now Moose has to prevail here. Running out of bullets is Ye, but look at the time. There's 12 seconds. Dazzle picked off. Oh my god. Wow. I have to say, you have to, if you look at that round from complexity though, it was so smart how they played it. And United even made the correct read, but to sort of fumble it. To fumble the bomb in that way at the end, that's that's kind of, it's a little bit sad. It's 
I feel like we didn't get to see the end of that round that was supposed to happen, uh, which was you know, just both teams sort of mind gaming each other and complexity. They come off the better 13 to seven and they have been playing very well. So it's, it's really, really quite impressive to see them do so well. United need to once again summon some strength from within to bring themselves back in. They have, they've just spent everything. They've spent every single dollar that they have. Stanislaw's creep just bodied everything. I can only imagine the idea was for the, the two front men to clear things out towards A if needed without showing the bomb. Dapper picks up the bomb and then rotates just a few seconds later, but little did they know Stanislaw was creeping. He was the snake in the grass. FYI, Stanislaw is a spy. And he may have just broken E United and really sent complexity to the face at Major. But it's not over yet. They've still got three rounds to get. There are smokes down on the A site, and this time the bomb will go down quickly. You may see a more normal retake scenario here. Previously, United were able to absolutely own complexity with very savage shots, but you can see here. Complexity are able to sort of rally themselves. They've got more time into this retake. They've got some good nades, nades as well as uh, just seen there to use for the retake. No incendiaries. The incendiary can go quite a, quite a far away, but also smokes are good to lock out the AWPA. And that's exactly what will happen. Android dropping the smoke onto the bomb to pressure. Will they guess right? There's a miss from Ace. And no one's spraying into the smoke. He's going to get it. They're going to survive. And that is excellent work. Good cover coming in from Def there to help to secure that defuse. 14 to 7. Two away now. And E United, they did get a bomb down, but their economy is not in a great place. E United not opting for any sort of tactical pause. They're just going to go straight back into it. Mac 10s, three Mac 10s, two CZs, grenades. It's got to be a B set piece. And it has to be a good one too, because actually this could work out. We've got double orbs here for complexity if, and there's only one man on the B site. But if Def gets good connections, this is very problematic. He's blind, he's blind again. No one's taking a position just yet. They're running out of bullets before finding the target, but look at the peppering. Stanislaw wants to go to this major. And Android does too. Match point complexity. And how can they possibly be stopped at this point? Wow, they, you, can, you can see it. They've, they they know it's how close it is. It is so, so close for them, but they have to keep the focus up. It's not done until it's done. And, you know, Maniac talked about this on the desk. You're allowed to shout, but as soon as you're in freeze time again, Shut the focus comes mouth. back in. <laughs> Indeed. Dazzle. That's a beautiful shot. Perhaps he's given a chance here for E United. Oh, wow, okay. Well, maybe not. Def responds with a double, with two. The bomb is exposed. I wonder if the CTs can see it. Still peaks coming in from the short position. Stanislaw, no Def, in fact. But it is Stanislaw charging through that smoke. And now it's Moose, the only man standing between Complexity and the Major. But he can't do it. Complexity have returned to the Major. What a historic moment for a North American organization that is as old as older than esports, basically. It's so fantastic to see such growth, such such confidence in making this project work iteration after iteration, and finally they've done it. They're back, and this is a good team, James. This is a legitimately good team. Yeah, and uh, such recent changes, a big pickup in Stannis Law and um, Shazam. And what a difference it has made. It's been a very long journey. It's been a very patient journey for Jason Lake and Complexity. And they've just made it back into the major. Congratulations to them. Commiserations to EU United. What a horrible way to lose the first map. A valiant effort to, to make a comeback after just a, a disastrous start to Mirage as well. Again, E United, another fantastic team who, who show lots of promise of growing from strength to strength. And I'm sure we'll be at many lands with or without invites in the year to come. Yeah, E United are really, uh, really such a great prospect too. And you can really see in this instance, the more experienced team did win. And there was a lot of situations here where experience goes a long way. And United, they are a little bit behind in the experience game, but if they continue 
just showing what they showed to us here at this uh, event, you know, they are going to be uh, a frequent, they're a frequent appearance at these lands. Over to Freya and complexity on the game floor. Thank you, James. I'm here with the winners, complexity. So congratulations on your win. How are you feeling, Stanislaw? I'm feeling great. Um, after yesterday's match against Rogue, you know, we were pretty disappointed in ourselves, but here we showed up today and everyone played perfectly well. We saw everybody playing amazingly well. You managed to take uh, their map pick, Inferno. How did you manage that? Well, Inferno is a map that everyone should know by now. Like It's one of our strongest, so them picking it wasn't really a problem for us, and we just played great on it. Um, yeah, and then going into Mirage, I think, just again, it's another strong map for us, and yeah, we just played great. So, Dev, we've got to talk about that Ninja Diffuse to clinch the map. What was going through your head then? That was amazing. Well, I, I, I heard the guy, Arch, he was running off, and I knew there was going to be a guy watching the bomb from Pit. So I told the team, even in mid-round, I said, I'm going to Ninja this, because I knew it. So I killed the guy Pit, ninja the bomb. <laughs> it's pretty unfortunate for them, but it worked out. So going into Mirage, again, you guys smashed it. Um, did you refocus on anything? Was there anything you were particularly thinking about United? Not really. Just from yesterday, we knew, like, Teams are actually anti striding us way too hard, and we just figured, let's just uh, go back to the basics. And instead of you know going using all our strats and all that stuff, just play basic CS. And that was just involving good communication and teamwork. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure like uh, w once teams realize, oh, we're not doing our normal stuff, and they can't anti stride us, then they're like, oh shit, what do we do? So yeah. So now you guys are going to go up against Rogue to see who can come first place. How are you feeling about this, Shazam? Pretty good. I'm excited for a rematch. You know, felt pretty bad about losing them yesterday, but qualified and now we can just focus on making this grand final i think w even though it's like you qualified for the major like there's still a title for this tournament and so we're gonna try our best now death it came home for you is it gonna come home for england is it what's the score right it now one nil, one nil still two, okay yeah. that's perfect <laughs> I might oh it's one one in, in mayor it's one one oh. is it gonna come home uh i hope so that's <laughs> a bit scary but some confident uh words from death thank you guys we're gonna go back to the desk yeah, we're slightly heartbroken. Just as we ran downstairs, we heard about the equalizer, but it could still come home. We've got 20 minutes. Anyway, on to the most exciting game in the world right now. Obviously, <laughs> Counter-Strike, E United and Complexity, the victors there. E United, shadow of their former selves, really, weren't they? Yeah, no, it definitely wasn't the same kind of E United we saw from their matchup versus energy, uh, partly, uh, again, they never really got the opportunity to get into uh, that kind of groove that we saw them do versus energy. Uh, but that's credit to complexity. Again, like they took uh, control over the match. They never really let up too much of a grip of it. I think if o the only case where you can actually say that they gave a bit of a uh, wiggle room for E-United was, uh, was on Mirage, really, after a very strong, I think it was 9-1 to one start or something to that effect. Then they let E-United close out the half. But again, if you can start off the second half in the manner they did, there's nothing really too worried about. So this really felt like, I guess, more, more of how it, if you ask me at the start of the entire America's Minor how this matchup would have played out, this is more of what I would have expected. Well, let's take a look at the stats from the final map. Obviously 2-0, so there were only two maps. But there you can see a fairly significant difference. Yeah, and Android, uh, obviously this is the stats for the Mirage matchup, but Android had, you know, even more impressive stats on uh, on Inferno as well. But it's good to see. We've seen it throughout pretty much the entire minors for complexity. The fact that it's not just a singular player delivering on their side. They've had everyone step up to the occasion. And uh, that remains the case, really, for uh, for the squad. And that's, uh, that's super uh, encouraging. Usually we talk about complexity and not necessarily being too convinced about the second and the third star. As Jacob mentioned multiple times that you know, we can't expect them to show up every now and again, but they've really done so for the better part of, uh, of this. No, absolutely, and I also think uh, having like multiple players being able to like show up is kind of an indicator of consistency, because if you kind of rely on one player to always like go crazy, that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, overall, pretty convincing win. I think they deserved it. This is a scenario yeah. where you say they were supposed to win, they won. Congratulations to them, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was... <laughs> They, I think they deserve to win this game. And E-United, Absolutely. just a bit messy with their executes, especially on that first map, Maniac. Talk to me about banana control. The banana control. No, it's it's always one of these recurring theme of Inferno. And I think, in my perspective, that was the main difference between Complexity and E-United as to how they would handle it as CT. Because it's always a little bit of a nightmare scenario when you don't have the banana control and you don't know what's happening. So I think Complexity did a better job at finding various solutions. 
because sometimes your city you want to try to take banana you can't because the teas just invest too much and you have different solutions to you can go with three people you can try to retake banana you can try and play with three people on B and I think just complexity solved that problem better than United that was one of the main reasons why their city side was better yeah and also you know if you hop over to the T side I think also uh, I mean this is something you're going to go deeper into at a later stage but the, the fact that the executes we saw out of United wasn't necessarily as crisp as we would have expected it to be we saw you know multiple attempts but with very <laughs> different uh, outcomes in that sense as to actually how, how crisp they were with it. So that obviously is going to come into play as well. And when complexity have gradually gotten better with their B-side defense as well, as the tournament has gone along, I think that you, you need to be perfect pretty much with your executions. But there was one key mistake, actually, that complexity did make in that they allowed a United to rush that B point, didn't they? Yeah, actually, we, we, we picked around to talk about it. A um, That was actually a, an execute from United on Inferno. And what is really interesting about it is that Complexity are actually three people already on site when this happens. And no matter what they... Because the execute is so incredibly hard to counter with the Molotovs well-placed, the smoke, the flashes. And even though the numbers are here, it actually goes the way of the T's. So for me, this is a very good example why you don't want to let that happen. You don't want to end up in a position where you have to kind of survive a full-on B execute, because I think the T's are going to have the better end at the end. If they if they ex execute well, they're going to take the side from you no matter what. Yeah, and I think this is something, well, especially you've been talking about throughout pretty much the, the both the CIS uh, minor and, and the Americas here, like when we talked about in front of the fact that playing blind on, on that map as a CT is just a nightmare. Like the, because it, you're meant to have one uh, one man up from, I guess, your default setups whenever an execute comes in from the T side. Otherwise, you're you're in a really rough spot. You're not you're very likely to not being able to uh, defend anything off because of the uh, the abundance of opportunities to actually throw super good smokes and molotovs to clear out any sort of like uh, funky angles or, or good crossfire positions that CTs would like to hold. So I, I think uh, again we see. Uh, first off, Complexity actually dealing well with that, and obviously United not making the most of uh, the opportunities given to them when they actually get some map control to work with. I also was really interested in getting to see a Ninja Diffuse, because yeah. we haven't seen too many of them yet. Actually, Shazam we have seen. We saw him underestimate <laughs> the amount of time he had, run away when he could have done it, and then we finally saw him bring one home, that's the phrase we're all using. And then there was an epic one from Complexity on our first map, wasn't there? Yeah, absolutely, and that, that is just really a, there's not much to analyze about this round, but <laughs> this that, that that's what I would call a death round, because that was all about him. First of all, this is a scenario where he saved an AWP, his teammates have nothing, so they have one weapon, four pistols. First he get the double kills, then things are gonna go a little bit to hell, they're gonna lose the trades, but he, he's, he's very clever about the way he plays this 1v3 they assume he's gonna s he's gonna save his weapon, which is what he should do. He has an AWP, he should keep it. So he gives them a little bit of time to go away from the bomb. Then he goes and plays the the 1v1 against the only T that's all that's still on the side, wins it, and the T the other T's are out of position. No matter if they start running back, it's already too late. And I think it's just like it's. It's beautiful to see that to close a map. Like yeah. it, it has a flavor to it. And what I would also said that it is kind of indicative of how Inferno worked out for for EU United as well, because they did find you know amazing ways to lose round. They had no business <laughs> of losing. I mean, if you go back to the Pesto round as well, that Android clutches out for them. Uh, it's a one v two situation. I think we even said it when the second. Uh, I think no, it's two v three situation. The second they get the first frag on one of the retaking complexity players and leaves Android alone, we're like, well, that's it. That's mm. that's Pesto round. EU United can get off to a great start on the second half, uh, and they might be able to stage a comeback here uh, and I mean I think it was Dapper who was stuck in uh, in new boxes at that point gets like the the situation or the moment gets a little bit uh, to, uh, the better of him pretty much where he decides to to go for the aggressive peak and I guess this is something you've uh, talked about with the psychology the fact that if you you're in movement you feel like you're in more control over the situation in a scenario where you probably just should have stayed put like you know, remove the hands from the keyboard, uh, and then eventually try to play for time. But uh, sometimes that's just kind of the way things swings out. But that's that that was kind of like an indication of how this game was going to turn up. Because if you United throw away uh, those kind of secure rounds for yourselves, then you're not going to get too far. Well, eight teams came to London on Saturday and just two remain. So let's remind ourselves of how we got there. Group A, Energy Esports and E United qualified. We've lost both of them. So no one from Group A remains.
that's pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, energy sh energy in everyone's mind was meant to make the qualifier. Uh, I guess E United was a bit of a bit of a dark horse in that uh, sense. NTC again, someone we wouldn't have been too surprised to see in a playoffs here in the finals bracket. That didn't happen either. But yeah, Group B just uh, apparently having an abundance of quality. Definitely. I mean, kind of our second and third favorite, really, for the competition. Mm. E United, we were kind of surprised at their performance and how well they did. So it was lovely to see them make the top four. Absolutely. I think as they have a few more months as a roster, because some of them have only been part of that roster for four to six weeks, I think we're going to see some really good matches from them in the future. But as I said before, two teams remain, Rogue and, of course, Complexity. Congratulations, guys. You've made it to Challenger, which is a gargantuan achievement in itself but now you're going to be competing for thirty thousand dollars and fifteen thousand dollars will go to that runner-up but to be honest it was never about the money for these teams it was all about getting to challenges so i can't wait to see who emerges victorious but if you guys at home wouldn't like to win some points for yourself you can by going to faceitmajor.com for slash giveaway meanwhile you can get in touch with us you'd like to speak to me you'd like to speak to these guys you want to speak to the team hashtag Face it, minor on the socials. Don't forget to subscribe to us, youtube.com forward slash face it. So you never miss a match from the minors all the way through to the majors in September. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be back with the grand final very soon.